Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanna do a review on the new Artist Couture Supreme Nudes collection. Really excited for this video. I did use this palette for one other video before, but I didn't get a chance to do a YouTube review of it. So that's why we're here. Obviously, your girl got a new wig, which I struggle doing wand curls, but these came out okay, I, I, I think. They were super curly, so I brushed them out which is what they do on Instagram. <laughs> and it gives that like beautiful like wave look. It looks pretty good, but I still need to YouTube a few more videos before I'm like super comfortable doing some wand curls. Anyway, really quick before we jump into this video, I just wanted to say I hope that you guys are all well. I hope that you and your families are staying safe, that you're staying home, and that you have all of the necessities that you need to just kind of like hunker down while we get through this very, very rough time. I hope that you guys are all taking care of yourself mentally, physically, you're keeping your immune system up, and you're trying to keep your spirits high. Just know that I am thinking of all of you and sending you all of my well wishes, and we will get through this together. So first, First and foremost, congratulations to Mac Daddy, AKA Angel Marino for his collection. It is bomb. If you guys are not familiar with the brand Artist Couture, they're an indie brand. They started on Instagram and they have amazing products. They started with highlighters. Now they have lipsticks, a few palettes, and they just keep coming out with more amazing stuff. So congratulations, Angel. I'm so happy for you. And I can't wait to see the next collection that you guys come out with. This was the PR box that came. Just says Artist Couture, and inside, oh, Angel's looking sickening. Like truly, look at him, so beautiful. And there's the card with all of the information about the products, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about. And here is the collection, yes, congratulations. I know that Angel did recently launch this. It was a nerve wracking situation for him because this is right in the middle of the pandemic. But I think a lot of people were really excited and wanted to support him. So a ton of us are making videos and I believe the palette is sold out, but I will include all the links down below in case you guys do wanna check it out. They also are going to be sold at sephora.com and artistcouture.com. So this is the Supreme Nudes palette, very sleek packaging. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Don't forget, I did use a few of these shades to create a look, but I wanna create something different today. So this does have eight matte shades. Wait, eight matte shades. So the two metallic shades are these and the two multi-dimensional shades are those and then the rest are matte. Now, a ton of people are probably like another neutrals palette. I personally love neutral palettes. I think that they're the most versatile. You can use them in the daytime, you can use them at the nighttime, especially when they have like satins and metallic shades already built into the palette. So it's easier to just grab this. This is definitely something that I would travel with. I've already used the palette twice, one on camera, and then I just wanted a flush of color just in my crease. So I used Transcend, which is this shade. And I think that this palette is great, like off the rip, because I already used it, so I know. This palette was so amazing. The quality, the pigmentation, the blendability, all the points were there. And I think that they came out with some really nice shades. The only thing that I think this palette is missing is a black, but we have a ton of black, and I will be using black today, so I do have my little black shadow to the side. That's the only thing that I think this palette could have used but honestly, we all have a black and there was none of the other shades I think are worth kind of getting rid of to place a black in here. So I think that he made some really nice choices when it came to the finishes and the shades of the palette. There are also six lipsticks, Ugh, the Silk Creams. Those are the shades and I'm also going to be swatching those and giving you swatches of the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders, which are like a staple. So many people are obsessed with this product. It's just a loose highlighter. It's very like pearlized. It's going to give you that like outer space glow, which is just going to leave you just glowing from within, glowing from without. It's just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. So when it comes to pricing, how much is this stuff all gonna cost? 
So the palette, the Supreme's Nude palette is priced at $40. So since there are 12 eyeshadows, each of the eyeshadows is around $3 and some change. They are 0 0.05 ounces, each of them. So this one is $40 and then the lipsticks are priced at $18 each. The thing that's amazing as well, it's oil-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, vegan, and cruelty-free, all of the products, which I think is something that's really important to a lot of consumers now. So I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of information. And the glow powders, of course, are listed at $27 for one of these. Now, I've had my original one for a few years. I don't use it as often as I used to use it, but I still have so much product left because you don't use a lot of product when using this. And these are especially beautiful in the tear ducts. So I love to use them in the tear ducts and on my highlighted areas as well. All right. I think we covered all of the basics. I wanted to keep this video relatively short because because <laughs> so let's let's get into it so i tapped my hair back and i'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and i'm gonna start off using the p louise base in number two and actually i brought out my handy dandy tape have not used tape to do my eyeshadow look in years but i really want like that crisp line i want to go for something kind of smoky so i am going to take some tape applying this all over the lid. Since I already have my face makeup on, I'm gonna be pretty careful with blending this product out. I don't wanna carry it out too far. And you just want to blend this out before it sets. And then I just like to use my finger to kind of melt this product down. So I'm taking some tape, putting that right on the corner of my eye. I feel like it's been a little minute since I've done a tutorial here. All of our lives have been interrupted right now. So how have you guys been managing? What are some of the things that you've been doing? I've been thinking about doing like a quarantine kind of self-care day. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. Just some of the things I've been doing to keep busy, keep my mind preoccupied. The first two products I'm gonna grab, which are not Artist Couture, I'm just taking this black eyeshadow. This one is by Melt Cosmetics and a black liner. And I'm just gonna draw a kitten wing just because I wanna smoke out that outer um, portion of my eye. Literally the tiniest little wing. Then I'm gonna dip into my black shadow and start smoking out that wing I created. Once that's smoked out, now I'm gonna jump into my palette. I'm gonna start using the shade Eccentric, which is this one right here on the bottom. And I'm taking this on a Smith 235 brush. And I'm gonna start adding some shadow. So I'm connecting that to the black and I'm just bringing my brush up towards my brow. Taking the next shade on a Smith 232 brush, I'll show you guys the difference. This one is a 235, this one, and then this is the 232. So it comes almost to a point. And I'm gonna take the shade Transcend, which is this one. And I'm gonna get a little bit lower and go right into the crease with that shade. Then I'm gonna take that first brush and just kind of blend it together. Next, I'm gonna go in with Aesthetic, which is this shade right here, and that same pencil brush. And I wanna build more color on top of that crease and going slightly lower, because then we're gonna cut the crease and I wanna still be able to see that shadow. And I wanna bring that shadow all the way, almost to the inner corner. Then I wanna grab a flat definer brush. I'm gonna go right into Mink, which is this brown shade and I'm very gently packing that outer portion of my eye. Kind of creating more of a wing. So the black is just so that this stands out and looks really nice and smoky. And then I'm going over that black. So now I wanna take any flat definer, one that's more tightly packed like this one, just because I want to cut my crease. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that P. Louise base
So now I'm just cutting that crease and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Taking opalescence on my finger. Taking that brown mink shade, I'm just starting to really smoke out this outer portion of the eye. And this is gonna give it more of that sultry look. And I really wanna show you guys one of the, the diamond powders. So the eye is pretty simple. It was really the tape that gave me that like versatility to able to get that clean, crisp line. You can also use concealer. You can also use just like holding like a, something with an edge and using that just to create that like nice sharp line because I really think that's what makes this eye. And now I'm gonna take Gold Digger. This is the Artist Couture powder and I'm gonna apply it to my tear duct. These are so gorgeous, guys. And you really wanna pack that product on. And that's how you get that really high shine i'm really digging this i definitely think i'm gonna do this look again so i threw on some lashes these are miami by lily lashes i also used the urban decay perversion pencil in my waterline and the mac extended play mascara to get my lashes nice and full well not my false lashes my bottom lashes because now let's jump into these lip swatches, which I'm really excited about because I love nudes. So just like a collection of nude lips just makes me really excited. So here is what the packaging looks like. Going to swatch them from lightest to deepest. This one is Angel Baby. I personally need a liner. So I did bring my cork liner, which I use with everything because um, any super light nudes just don't complement my skin perfectly. So I wanted to show you guys, this is what Angel Baby looks like with no liner. And here is Angel Baby with cork liner. So 100% would wear it this way. I think it's a really beautiful tone, but I definitely need to bring her down. So Angel Baby, I don't know why, well, that's a song, right? Da, na, 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 na. Angel Baby. Okay, setting more like a pinkish nude. Next we have Boy Toy. Looks like a mauve nude. This is a really pretty shade. This is what the shade looks like on its own. And now I'm gonna show it to you with cork liner. And this is what it looks like with cork liner. Two liners that I recommend. It doesn't have to be by MAC, but the two easiest are MAC Cork and MAC Chestnut. With those two liners, you can literally make any lipstick work. This shade's really pretty. The next one I did use, this is Saucy Girl. The texture of these is so creamy. It's a really like hydrating, comfortable formula, but it still has that pigmentation. It's going to look like this. And I'll do one more with cork. And this is how I like to wear it. And this is what it looks like with Saucy Girl. Next we have Power Play. This one's like a light mocha shade. This is also a really pretty shade. The next one is Adore Me. Mm, this one's gorgeous. I just like love how they feel going on. So if I wanted to deepen this one up, I would definitely use Chestnut Liner, or you can use something like Vino, by MAC or 
Is that the other shade? I'm forgetting the other shade. This is Adore Me. And the last shade is Aphrodisiac. Mm. This one reminds me of chocolate. Yes. Mm. This one's gorgeous. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite shade. So the three that I'm really loving, Angel Baby, Saucy Gal, and Aphrodisiac. This one is just giving me life. Okay. Now I wanna give you guys swatches of the palette. Now I wanna give you guys swatches. Okay, I've spent too much time alone. Let me take this fan out of my head. Okay, now let me give you guys some swatches really quickly and then I wanna swatch the Artist Couture powders as we done. I already told you guys, I'm trying to not do the most so that you guys can get your information, you can make your decisions, you can get a little tutorial. So these are all of the shades in the palette. I think that it is such a gorgeous palette. We obviously have seen these tones before, but not necessarily in this exact, what's the word I'm looking for? Combination of shades, I guess? Formulation definitely is major to me because literally they're gonna be two $5 palettes and they perform completely different, although they could be very similar shades or the same tones. So I think this palette performs amazingly. Love the eyeshadow look, love the combination of shades that he chose. And I'm really digging the shimmery shades. I think they're absolutely stunning. And lastly, we have the Diamond Glow Powders. This is a loose product, super shimmery. These are applied dry, so you can also intensify them by adding a little bit of water to them. But we have Gold Digger, Coco Bling, Illuminati, Sugar Daddy, Conceited, and yes. So that is the full video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you made it to the end, don't forget to hit that like button if you do like my video. You wanna see some more, hit that subscribe button, get some post notifications whenever I upload new content. Once again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love the products. I'm really happy with the eyeshadow palette. Love the look that I came up with today. The lipsticks are really creamy, beautiful. Pigmentation is there. And the diamond glow powders are iconic at this point. So I'm really happy with everything that I played with today. We'll definitely be reaching for this palette again. If you wanna see another video with this, let me know. I will create something else for you guys. But I think that's it. Hope that you guys are all well. Stay safe, stay healthy. Love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.